Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news that today we have. Hey yo, man, we got um uh yeah 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 we got we got the air ins the the air insurrections, man. We're gonna talk about that real quick, man. Um uh, we got um uh who double XL chose as female rapper of the year, man. YSL attorneys getting um arrested, man. You know what I'm saying? We also got um uh Lotto and um Ice Spice Beef looking like it's heating up a little bit, man. The judge ordering camera on the pay. We also got um uh Folks getting into it in um, London and uh, Master P post and Snoop on record labels. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button and fill any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting fantastic. Want to give it a tap and that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that. Yo, check this out, man. Um, uh, Double XL has posted, right, that uh, the female rapper of the year for Double XL Award 2024 is sexy red yeah yeah yeah. that's what they said man i mean i don't i don't know what to, like don't why are you looking at me like that i don't know what to tell you that's what they said man what just is this dude gonna hit me come on bro yeah female rapper of the year <laughs> is is uh the car was coming at me female rapper of the year is sexy red this is this is what they they believe that she is the the hottest female rapper not lotto you know what i'm saying not coil array not um um ice spice you know what i mean none of those people it's sexy red <laughs> i wonder i wonder like hmm, let me go to the comments real quick let me let me see what the comments got to say on that uh the comments say this it says um first person destroyed me said this is why hip-hop is seen as a joke somebody else said um gorilla ice spice mulatto Flo millie and bk but they chose her somebody else said how to cuff Somebody else said, um, this has to be a joke. This why XXL ain't ish. Um, only because of the Drake publicity. Look, I guess essentially a lot of people just cannot buy the fact that that's the female artist of the year. Double XL has selected that. See, sometimes I wonder, like, how can I say this? Um, I just wanted to trigger you first thing in the, at the beginning of the video. Don't be down liking our videos now. You know what I mean? But I mean, this is, that's like, come on now. Like I, Maybe hip hop is not about um, being on beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and the content. It's like, come on, that's the con that's the content we saying is the top. I mean, whatever. Anyway, look. Um, um, so Donald Trump released those those golden golden um, Trump ones or something like that. What they call they called the Never Surrender ones. I think that's what they call it, right? But uh, <laughs> Charlotte, look, 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 look. That, that's what they call it, but DJ Pooh calls it the Air Surrections. You know what I'm saying? Which I thought was um at, was was the perfect title. Okay. Uh, did I go to the comments? Let me go to the comments real quick. See what the comments talk about when it comes down to those sneakers. Now, somebody came in the comments and was like, "Yo, but celeb, them joints ain't really half bad." To which I say, um, I don't know. I look this. There's a part of me that kind of sort of like them. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Like, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, be, I'm keeping it real. I would never buy them. I would never put that money in Trump's pocket like that. But I kind of like them. You know what I'm saying? Don't go buy him now. I mean, come on now. Don't don't support that man. That man, that man can't stand you. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? He can't he can't stand you. He, he really he, he we know that he really loves himself. And and that's what he's about. He's about himself. You know what I'm saying? Any problems that you see economically today is not the result of today's president. We usually see the results of the economy after the president leaves office. I'm just throwing that out there. OK, so if you see something right now happening right now, it's not the current president right now. It's usually when the president leaves the office that we can see it. OK, um, then I then I have something else on, on the answer directions here. Man. And matter of fact, uh, take take a look at what. Um, Charlamagne the G posted real quick on that. Now, in addition to the video, he added, um, it's really all just entertainment. We are truly an unserious country. Now, what player or celebrity influencer is going to wear these during NBA All-Star Weekend and send social media into a frenzy? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 man. The air surrections, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I mean, I'm, I somebody else called them the January Sixes. So, look, look, Blade of Valley called them the the Air Treason Ones. Let me see, let me see, let me see what everybody else is called these things, man. Yeah, let me just let me take a picture, okay? Oh uh, yeah, the Air Treason Ones. All right, Sonny Anderson said, "I bet they made in China." Okay, um, Kang said, "Yo, he dropped those white supremacy forty fives." Um, look, IMC Goss was like, "They're kind of hard though." Uh, 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 and just squeeze me said these are perfect now I can identify my enemies <sighs> yeah I guess so man um, yeah this stuff this stuff is just it, it just don't make no sense it, it, nothing makes sense anymore alright um, anyway look, 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 look are you aware of the YSL attorney that was arrested on gang charges apparently um, th th this attorney uh, has has been arrested on gang charges. Let me see what it says here. It says concerning her, um, Nicole Feagan has been charged with participation in criminal street gang activity and criminal solicitation to commit the offense of tampering with evidence. Let me read it out. Michael Seiden posted this. He said, w on, uh, uh, WSTB, WSB TV uh, said, breaking news. Uh, this is over the weekend. YSL defense attorney Nicole Feagan arrested on gang charges. Uh, the, this is uh, confirmed by the Atlanta Police Department. They said um, in 2022, APD was investigating a double shooting on the northwest side of the city and police learned that Feagan had contacted a suspect in the shooting, warning him about active warrants for his arrest. APD confirmed. Um, Feagan provided information she had learned during a preliminary hearing related to the shooting and advised the suspect to dispose of his phone as police were going to arrest him. She was not representing him at the time, police confirmed. And it says Feagan is charged with participation in criminal street gang activity and criminal solicitation to commit the offense of tampering with evidence. Mm, 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 mm. It is not looking good. It's not looking good for your boy Thugger. Now, a lot of ninjas saw this um, lady being arrested or whatever, and, and, and they was like, I'm in love. I'm over here like, let me get this straight. Because she got a vagina and raps YSL songs, your love struck broke. <laughs> Look, these dudes is lonely as cuff and, and sad as cuff too, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like any at this point, anything with breasts and a vagina that acts like it's 15 would suit for dudes. You know what I mean? Yeah, look, y'all can't read, man. Like, like y'all don't see past the pics. No, no wonder it's such slim pickings for the ladies out here, man. Dudes will fall for a woman that will flush a law degree. You know what I'm saying? All of law school right down the drain because she want to be down. <laughs> slow, man. People are slow out here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and you know what's sad? Here's the conversation that people seem to not have, right? Um, the people that you link up with, like y'all not looking into people's DNA and their history and stuff like that. Like, you know, you know, like there are things that run through the blood, right? Y'all know that there are certain behavior patterns that run through the blood. You need to be looking into people's history and past and some of the dumb decisions that they make. If someone is making dumb decisions and then you try to link up with them, don't try. You can't change them. You can't change a person. That's why a lot of relationships don't last. People get together thinking they're going to make the other person switch up, but it don't work that way. You can't make another person change. They're just going to despise you for trying to change them. You see what I'm saying? Look, look, here's the same. Um, take a look at this video, right? Here. Here's the same attorney talking about messing with a man that's in the streets. Take, take a look at this. The same attorney. Take a look. Now, if you're messing with a man that's in the street, then you need to understand the position you play. If you're sitting there and you're getting nice dinners, you're getting some shoes, you might be getting a purse, then when it's you're down too. You might have a minor setback, but you're going to have a major comeback. Another thing is you don't need to be sitting there asking who he's talking to and whether or not he's cheating. He's not cheating. And frankly, you don't need to ask him what he's doing anyway, because you already know he's not doing and said, you need to be Googling some talk to him about so that he can get his mind off his situation. Another thing is, you don't need to get all in your feelings and lose your self-esteem and you don't want to be confident you think he might be wanting to move on to another girl. He don't have no options right now, first of all. Second of all, you losing your confidence takes your sexy swag off. You already know that's your man. You're going to hold him down. When he get out, he's going to hold you down too. So don't don't forget. That's the YSL attorney, man. <laughs> see, you see why I'd be thinking that I could have became an attorney? Now, now, Shorty paid her 40K bond, right? If my information is correct. She paid her 40K bond. But at this rate, YSL, like they doomed, okay? Apparently, she allegedly, um, as we said, called the suspect, provided him with knowledge of a raid or something to that effect. Told him he got to lose the heat ASAP, which amounts to tampering with evidence. I mean, it can't be this easy. 
It cannot be this easy for people. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling like a short video today. So, so, so let me give you this next one. Okay. The judge has ordered Cameron, right? Cameron, the artist Cameron. The judge has ordered him to pay $50,000 for using a copyrighted image of himself on Dipset merch. Can you believe that, man? This is, I mean, I cannot, I can't, I can't believe this. Um, he lost a lawsuit for using his own image on his merch. Let me read what academics posted. It says, a federal judge ordered Cameron to pay more than 50K to a photographer for using her photo. Okay, a shot of the um, dipset rapper wearing the fuzzy pink coat and hat while holding a matching flip phone. Okay, on a slew of merchandise without permission. A year after uh, Jamila Cochran sued the rapper and his company Dipset uh, Couture for slapping her image on merch, Judge William Martini ruled Thursday that he had indeed committed copyright infringement. This is insane. It was an easy win for Cochran since Cam never responded to the lawsuit or offered any defenses. In his ruling, the judge ordered Cam to pay $40,530 in so-called statutory damages. Many times the uh, the $5,790 licensing fee that Getty Images would have charged him to use the image on commercial products if he had sought permission. In other words, he would have just paid, if he paid 5K, he'd, uh, he wouldn't have to pay the 50. Okay, now you got to pay 10 times the amount. The court finds that statutory damages award of seven times the licensing fee is sufficient to compensate plaintiff for the infringement of her copyright and to deter future infringements by punishing the defendants. Okay. They also said that the rapper had to repay the $10,691 that Cochran spent to bring the lawsuit, a common ad add on penalty in copyright cases. Um, they, uh, the rep for Cameron, they didn't immediately return a request for the comment, man. Um, this is insane, man. It says here, um, in 2016, GQ magazine used a photo atop an article titled Cameron is very particular when it comes to the color pink, saying that the rapper had to find himself with an iconic pink mink at his at the fashion show. Um, can you believe that, man? A man gotta pay to use his own his own image. Now, uh, according to what academics posted, it says, that's not a new dilemma for stars. Over the last few years, Miley Cyrus, Dua Lipa, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, um, LeBron James, Katy Perry, and others have all faced copyright cases after they reused photos of themselves snapped by someone else. That is wild to me, man. I mean, like nothing is, <laughs> I mean, your own image? Gosh. I think um, I, I could have sworn Dave Chappelle said something to that effect, too. Anyway, let me let me go to my shout-outs real quick. We ain't gonna keep you here long. Uh, my shout-outs. Let me see what we got over here, man. I love, I am Lock Goddess. Okay, uh, I am Lock Goddess. Said man, um, uh, th she she's talking about the dudes that was speaking on Beyonce stealing country music. Okay, they said, oh, they just have to seize every air. They talk about black people, or, or they said the lefties, right? The leftists, whatever. They said, oh, they just have to seize every 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 area. In every aspect, I am like God has said, this is coming from colonizers and the descendants of Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? They just have to seize every area in every aspect. These guys are clowns, man. Uh, Eric Avery said, not a Nas X fan, but Old Town Road was my grandson's favorite song. We really are um, great at whatever we focus on. I got him away from that guy's catalog immediately. Yetta Winda? Yetta Winda said, but Boosie, Alicia Keys is an actress. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, and Namani said, celeb, no cap. I like Donald Trump shoes. I told I told the money. Look, I, I think I kind of sort of like them too. There are certain things that you could like, but be like, I like it, but I ain't effing with it. Yeah, you know I mean, like that's just it's possible to do that. It's possible to be like, yeah, I kind of like that. I ain't gonna lie, I like it, but I don't cuffs with it. Okay, um, I think I think people be feeling that way about the channel. Hence, they don't hit the like button. They just keep watching. <laughs> they like it, but they don't like it. Like it, like hit the like button, like it. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of sort of like the Trump ones. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's the gold. I think it's the gold that got me. But we know that gold is going to peel off. You could probably, on a hot summer day, that gold is going to peel off. We know that. Um, anyway, let's get right back to it. This bad boy. If I said it's going to be a short video and I wasn't playing today. Okay. Um, today's my day off. Today's my day off. So, 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 so let's wrap this bad boy up. Look, Lotto 
has um okay listen lotto took a picture right with quando rondo okay the picture hit the internet this is an old old picture apparently they must have known each other for a while okay um she posted a picture sitting on quando rondo's lap you know what i'm saying short skirt and everything she looked real young right uh <laughs> I guess people was like, yo, Quando Rondo hit Lotto. So she had to come to the to the comment. She was like, yo, didn't hit though. Didn't hit. I, she, she, in other words, she's like, yeah, I took a pit with him, but he ain't hit. Why, why, why when you take a picture with somebody, they gotta be like, oh, they hit. I don't understand that. Like you can't just take a picture. Don't, you don't you don't take pictures with your family members? You hit them? You're like, I'm from Alabama. What you think? Come on now. Not everybody from Alabama hit their cousins. I'm just saying, if you take a picture with somebody, that don't mean you hit. I mean, why do people think just because she took a picture with Quando Rondo, it's got to be that? If that's what it is, then all the people you took pictures with, you hit them too, okay? Sisters, moms, cousins, pops, aunties, nasty. Listen, uh, listen, never mind all that. Lotto and Ice Spice have been having a little bit of a back and forth, as you probably already know, all right? Um, Ice Spice had a, this, like, a promotional truck, okay? Um, and Ice Spice's promo truck was in Atlanta, all right? She was promoting her song, Thank You to Ish. The truck was vandalized. Some people are, are saying it was vandalized probably by Lotto's fans, okay? Because um, the truck had like, it had five emojis that represent um, uh, uh, Ice Spice's song. But it looks like someone crossed out the emojis and they wrote 777, which is the name of Lotto's album. Okay, so, you know, and then they wrote and then, and then they and then it says then they added stream Sunday service. <laughs> yeah, man, it's good. This is where, where it's coming to. People are willing to um, commit crimes now and potentially be locked up and have a record for rappers. People are slow out here, man. You know what I mean? Like people out here, the culture is slow, man. I don't even want to call it the culture. If you're committing crime on behalf of a rapper. You slow as hell, man. There ain't no way to. There's no way around it. There's no way to. There's no other way to put it. Ain't no other way to say it. If you are committing crime on behalf of a rapper that you are not related to, you dumb as hell, man. Yeah, you know I mean, like literally, like as the like like as dumb as it is to oppose the creator of the universe and find yourself in hell because everybody in hell is stupid, right? As dumb as it is to be in hell. That's as dumb as it is to commit a crime on behalf of a rapper that you you never met. You're like, how you gonna call everybody a hell dumb? God called him dumb. You know what I'm saying? He said, look, the fool said in his heart, there ain't no God. You gotta be a fool. If God said they a fool, what, what, what? Am I wrong for echoing what God said? You know what I'm saying? He gave you a free way out and then you still don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like, my bad. Anyway, um, uh, where, where was I at over here? Okay. And finally, um, uh, listen, Bobby Schmurda, has um he has stated how much money he made from um the 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 record labels okay take a listen to what bobby smurda had to say but i'm talking they, they take a listen to what he said i made them i made the label like 178 million first year first six months i made them like 178 million i think we signed for like 1.5 they gave me like 300,000 or some shit like 20,000 like 250 Again, some shit like that. That's what they be giving up. When y'all hear all these five, four point million dollars, they be giving niggas a couple hundred thousand. I made that shit a couple months, man. I'm independent and kiss my black ass. That's kind of crazy, man. All the people committing crimes on behalf of rappers, and meanwhile, the record labels is robbing the artists and hurting the artists the most. <laughs> uh, people so l listen, listen, listen. Okay, um, I did the calculation. All right, two hundred k off of 178 million you know a percentage of um 170 million is 200,000 a lot of people are like, yo 200k is a lot of money bro okay uh, off 178 million it's not even one percent it's less than one percent it's is 0.11 that's how much 200k is of 178 million they are completely they couldn't even give them a million that's why like 
I know a lot of people want to get into the industry, man, and, and the music industry. I don't know if it's just better just to go independent or just real talk, like just not mess with these labels because these labels, they be they they straight raw people, as you can see. Matter of fact, take a listen to what Master P posted. Um, he posted Snoop saying the same thing concerning these record labels. Wait, don't don't Snoop own the record label though? I thought he owned Death Row now. Anyway, whatever. Listen, take a listen to um, Matt. What? What Snoop had to say, which is what Master P posted, take a listen to what he said about these record labels robbing people. Michael Jackson wasn't even making dollars off of his albums. How, how is Michael Jackson not making money off his own music? Yeah. Look the shit up. Who takes that? The record label? The record label, it, it's called points and percentages and royalties and shit that you get for the record. So, for example, if they were selling Michael Jackson record Thriller for $9.99, right? How much money do you really think he made off of each copy of Thriller? And this is the 80s. And that shit sold the most records ever. He made a lot of money. What you think the record labels make? They made all the fucking money. Perfect example, Taylor Swift. She ain't an old artist at all. She's quite new. What did she do? She remastered her album. Why? Because she wasn't making revenues off of that album. But some artists do make better sense for them to just say, fuck it, I'm going to remaster my shit. Because after seven years, in case you artists don't know, the seven year clause where well, you can remaster your album and get the owner shit back. Hey, look, that's what he said. Right, right now, you hear me typing, does Snoop own a record? Label. Let me see if I, I cause this is gonna be weird. Um, Doggy Style Records. Snoop presents Christmas in the Doghouse. That's the label. Yes, Snoop Dogg is the CEO and owner of Death Row Records. That's what I thought. He was a founding member of Death Row Records. Da, 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 da. So, so I'm I, look. I would certainly hope the label filed for bankruptcy in 2006, and Snoop bought bought it from a private equity fund. I would certainly hope that um, knowing what what these labels are doing to these artists, that Snoop isn't. You know what I'm saying? That stupid's taking care of the people's like, cause that's crazy. Like 178 million, you only paying them 200. You paying them less than one percent? We would hope that any of us that own a record label or anything like that are, are not paying artists less than one percent. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, you know I mean. Anyway, um, uh, I think Bobby Smurda not only had issues with that. But um, I think he had another issue, a physical altercation type issue in London. Uh, uh, take a look at this joint real quick. Bobby's going wild. Bobby's going wild. Bobby's going wild. Bobby's going wild. Wild star. Brothers kicking off, a lie is kicking off. We ended in a beef thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna kill your ass. That's what you don't say. Bro. Um, uh, so, so, so. So he gets into a physical altercation because they didn't pay him. Now, fortunately, he did apologize, which is good. You know what I mean? Like he, he apologized. But you can't hide. How they ain't pay, how they ain't pay him on a. That's why you gotta pay up front, usually. You should pay up front. He, but they performed and he performed in good faith and they, but fighting is not the way to solve the problem. Cause what you're going to beat him up and then he going to pay you. Nah, man, you got to take him to court or something like that. Man, I don't know how that works in London. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how that whole situation plays out. I guess you got to know the law. He should have been paid on the front end. Okay. They wrong for that. They wrong for that. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.